Hey there. So I've had a string of emails in the past week where I have heard a lot from uh, students concerned about their about their performance in the course. And this goes this video is out to everyone uh, that you know is enrolled in a course. It doesn't matter which one you're in. And I, what I can't help but notice is that there is a sense of maybe not necessarily desperation, but there's certainly some concern uh, from people about their ability to um, pass, um, pass the course in general and uh, pass the course well, um, all, all these different things, right? So for those like our intro, right, you know, in order to move on, you have to have a C or better. In theory, um, you have to have a C minus or better, right? And we're in this uh, weird time where, you know, a lot of people have kind of realized that the end of the course is coming up. Um, you know, we don't have that much time left. And I know that like a lot of anxiety is building because, you know, there are concerns about, you know, we look at everything we face this semester, right? We face, for a lot of people, brand new environment being online only. You know, a lot of, maybe not as much interaction as close as it was. Easy to get distracted by work and other family responsibilities and easy to maybe kind of forget about uh, school as well, a little bit as well. Um, and then all of a sudden like this, you know, sudden realization that the end is coming. And the truth is, you're not alone, right? Faculty have definitely thought like, wow, oh my God, like then the semester's coming up. Other students have definitely thought that. That is something that happens all the time. I've certainly lived it. I've been there. I understand the feelings right now. And I know some people may look at what's going on um, in terms of their grade, in terms of their performance, and it easily feel discouraged, right? Or maybe feel like, you know, it's gonna be hard. And at that point, right, you know, it becomes really easy to disconnect from the course, right? You don't feel like trying because it's gonna be hard. Or maybe the emotions associated with, um, you know, uh, continuing to write a paper or to keep studying or reading are very negative. And so it leads to like an avoidant behavior because you just don't wanna face it. It seems like a slog, drag and stuff like that, right? All of those things I can expect. And at this point, um, you know, it, I understand it's hard. Uh, you have to really keep yourself focused to keep going, right? And a lot of times it doesn't feel like you should or you don't feel like you could, or you know, maybe it seems pointless, you know, who knows? I'm here to tell you that you have to find a way to move beyond that, right? You know, a lot of about growing up, about growing up in life, that's uh, not been going on, um, <clears throat> is about facing you know, difficult emotions, difficult problems, learning how to persevere and move on. If it, especially when you think about something like this, right, where you, it's easy to start checking out when it's, there's a lot of time left to go. You really cannot do that um, because you end up jeopardizing your grade, your performance and other aspects, um, other parts of your life, and you maybe don't do as well as you would like. So this video is a reminder that I know it's hard. I know it's difficult. I've been there a bunch uh, myself, time and time again. I'm the, I've lived it as a student and as a faculty member. This video is just a reminder to stay the course, stay persistent, believe in yourself and your ability to overcome, and just look forward to that long January, because we have a long January this time, where you can kind of reset, relax, and you know hopefully put this semester behind. And I guess with that beeper <laughs> for my oven, uh, we'll call this video at an end. Uh, again, stay persistent, stay positive, remember what the end goal is, and don't get like sucked up in negativity or feeling like you can't do something. Stay persistent, get help as much as you can. I'm here for you. But for now, we'll say, uh, say uh, adieu, uh, and I'll see you guys uh, next time.